to John. John 20. The theme is no grave could hold his spirit down. No grave could hold his spirit down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You hear me? No grave can hold the spirit down. And I keep on saying that no great, no one can hold this for the Lord down. Why is this for the Lord? No one can hold it down because it, no nail, no spear, no grave, no tomb, no soldiers could hold the spirit of the Lord down. Amen. Hallelujah. And we'll see that it can't happen. The first day of the week, comment Mary Magdalene, early when it was yet dark, and to the sepulchre, and seeketh the stone, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulchre. Then she runneth and cometh to Simon Peter. And to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, loved and said unto them, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. Peter therefore went forth, and that another disciple, and came to the sepulchre. So they ran both together, and the other Disciple did outrun Peter and came first to the sepulcher and, this, and he stooping down and looking in saw the linen clothes laying yet went he not in. Not in. Then came Simon Peter following him and went into the sepulcher and see it the linen clothes, the clothes, clothes lie, and the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went in also that other disciple which came first to the sepulchre, and he saw and believed, for as yet they knew not the sepulchre, that he must raise again from the dead. Then the disciple went away again into, his, into, his, their, into their own home. But I was saying, God have to live an evidence. It have to be an evidence. It have to be an evidence that he raised from the dead because he already know that Satan already planted into the people to believe that he was stolen. Are you hearing me? To believe that he was stolen. So the, he had to leave some sign that he was not stolen. Hallelujah. I you see the sign that he leave, the first sign, the first sign that Jesus leave, he said, Jesus' body was, was, was moved. Jesus' body has been moved by someone than the linen clothes. Jesus' body was moved, but the linen clothes didn't move. And if a grave digger go to thief somebody, they don't have no time to unwrap you. <laughs> they have no time to unwrap you and to take off uh, your struggling clothes. They're going to grab the whole thing and run. Yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. But God knows that they will still feel that they, they stole it. So what Jesus did, he leave a sign. He took off the cloth that covered his face and he wrapped it and he put it separate. Are you following me? He wrapped it and he put it separate. That means that he leave a sign. Because if a grave digger, if 
pre-adventure they believed that the grave digger took it up. But how the grave digger, the, 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 the one that's the grave, the, 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 the one that steal the body would have time to take the napkin and fold the napkin and put it away. Hallelujah. And then they fold the burial clothes, the swaggling clothes, and put it away. Come on, somebody. It have to be somebody else, not a body stealer, not a grave robber. Come on, somebody. Because a grave, a grave robber have no time to identify the face cloth from the body wrap. Come on, somebody. Hello, somebody. So Jesus know that they were going to accuse somebody. That somebody stole his body. So he leave the evidence inside the tomb. Come on somebody. He leave the evidence inside the tomb. To show them. Say, Listen. No grave robber going to come. And, and take my, my face napkin. Wrap it and put it somewhere else. And take my swaggling clothes. And put it somewhere else. A grave robber going to take everything. Come on somebody. A grave robber going to take everything so come as so a God know that the accuser was going to accuse that he was raised from the dead so he makes sure leave the evidence God is a God that always leave evidence because he, he said he know that the enemy was going to come and say that it didn't happen that is why God leave our evidence come on somebody give God a praise in this place hallelujah God is leaving evidence in this church uh, to show us the inability to him. Uh, give God a praise. What a day. Uh, what a day for him to prove it. Uh, that in here, uh, Holy Ghost talk. Uh, Holy Ghost may not talk it out. Uh, but Holy Ghost show us something, uh, that something. Uh, give God a praise. 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 God is a God of sign and symbol. So he lived symbol and sign into his grave that he's risen from the dead. So don't care how some of them believe that he is risen. The one them that have sense would say, how can a thief go and take the swaggling clothes and put it one side? How can a thief put the head wrap one side? What a thief would have time to do that? A thief would carry everything. Give God a praise in this city. Hallelujah. A thief would got everything. But all when they see that, all when they see that, some of them still have doubt that he never raised from the dead. Give God a praise in this place. Hallelujah. Mary said that them roll away the stone. Somebody have to roll away the stone. And it could not be the Romans. Couldn't be the Roman soldier. Because the Roman soldier would be in trouble if they touched that stone. Because they're supposed to be watch the body. Not to let it out. Hallelujah. But who hold the body of Christ down no grave could have hold him down I said no swaggling clothes could have hold him down no face wrap could have hold him down no mommy mommy wrap could have hold him down no 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 stone could have hold him down the angels roll the stone away and let my savior out give God a praise in this place I said the angels they rolled stone away and lead my savior out and a matter of fact he come up before the stone roll out he come up before the stone roll give God a praise in this place I said he come out before the stone roll away give God a praise but you have to leave that let them know that he come out if this never roll away they would think him still in there <laughs> hallelujah i said if the stone never roll away they would thought he's still in there 
but he came out before the stone rolled away because he was spirit and he walked through the wall of the sepulchre and he came out give God a praise give God a praise in this place he was a spirit so he didn't have to roll with no stones to go to no no hoop. he walked he walked through the, the stone and come out of it but to leave another evidence for them to peep in and to say to him empty he make the angel roll the stone away for them to examine that the tomb is empty give God a praise in this place And I thank you, Lord, for Mary Magdalene. Hallelujah, Jesus. That is why you must be faithful. Is faithful, they're faithful. And they believe in Jesus. Why they know that he raised from the dead. Because somebody has to go back to the place. And before, because you see somebody to tell the tale. That he rolled from the dead. That is why God loves faithful people. He likes people who, don't feel, who are faithful enough. Although he bury, They still got the grave. With some spice to spice him up. God Almighty. Some people get their deliverance. They remember where they get it from. Hallelujah. You call them ungrateful people. Give God a praise in his place. But a loyal person go back to the grave because my master lying there and we did not spice him up the night before because the Sabbath day catch us. We put him in without spice. We have to go back to spice him up. Give God a praise in his place. They never care about the Roman soldier. They never care if they kill them. As long as they spice up them God. As long as they give them God spice. To him body sweet. Give God a praise in his place. God has sent some people. You don't care what nobody say. You must spice him up. Either you worship. You must spice him up. Either you give in. You must spice him up. In your loyalty. Give God a praise in this place. Christian must not. Hallelujah. Christian must not have. No veil over their face. Because when you raise with Christ. The veil come off your face. And Christian must have no dead clothes. No swaggling clothes. When you raise with Christ, the swaggling clothes live in the grave. And the evidence must show you your attitude. It must show you living. Show you talking. Come on, somebody. Show us your dead clothes live inside the grave. Come on, somebody. Come on, can somebody talk to me in this place? How can you know that your dead clothes live in the grave? <laughs> you have to have an evidence. <laughs> you walk in <laughs> If you lose a walk like you. You start to walk. With grace. You not fly no more if you catch nobody. Hallelujah. Because I've lost the man gone. Come on somebody. Can I preach? <laughs> That lost demon, he leaves at the grave. So if you have to walk with a special seductive style, that somebody to see you, you start to walk in grace. You start to walk in grace. If you used to dress seductive for someone to see you, you start to dress modest because that seductive spirit is no more on you. That's Productive spirit, you leave it in the water, you leave it in the grave. Come on, somebody, can I preach? Can I preach? Christian must have an evidence that they raised with Christ because Christ leave an evidence that he was not in no grave. Come on, somebody. 
Hey Lord, if you still a walk wrap up, you know you don't leave the grave yet. You're still at the grave. Come on, somebody. If you still a sure, you still at the grave. Come on, somebody. If you tie still a sure, you still at the grave. If the frock still too tight, you still at the grave. Give God a praise in this place. Can all Jesus. If you're still a loss, you're still in the grave. If you're a fornicator, you're still in the grave. If you're a doctor, you're still in the grave. If you're a lack if you're a thief, you're still in the grave. If you're greedy, you're in the grave. Can I name it? If you're a bad mind, you're in the grave. Come on, somebody. If you're jealous, you're in the grave. If you if you if you walk in a deceptive way, you're in the grave same way. You're in the grave. In the grave. So them still in the grave. So a lot of Christians still in the grave. Come on, somebody. Because there's no evidence that they're buried with Christ and raised with him. It got to be an evidence uh, that you bear with him uh, and you raise with him uh, and the evidence of your attitude uh, and your attitude uh, and how you live uh, and how you dress. Uh, oh God Almighty, can I preach? Uh, I feel like preaching today in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Because my Bible tells me that they take off his clothes from the on the cross and they wrap him with a piece of thin around him. But when they saw him, they did not saw him naked. They saw him have on a robe. He was no more exposed to the world. He was no more exposed to sin. He was covered up. Give God a praise in this place. He never come out naked. I don't take off his clothes. How do they take off the, the, the angels take off the dead clothes? But they never send him out naked. The angels find clothes and give. I say heaven have steam stress. I say heaven have steam stress. Holy Ghost have steam stress. They have dressmaker. They have tailor. Because where Jesus get that suit from? He got to be a Holy Ghost. Tailor make that suit. That means a Christian uh, must not walk naked uh, get in this place. <sighs> Can I still preach? Can I still preach? And if you want to rebuttal me, the clothes they bury into live in the grave. And there were no one. <laughs> visit him to slide in no clothes for him so God show us a Christian must walk naked Christian must cover up hallelujah Jesus hallelujah hallelujah and, and he was not in his clothes that, the, that he died on the cross in because he died on the cross with a piece of pampers give God a praise in the place a piece of pampers he have on the whole of him did naked, but when he raised from the dead, I walked back in his royal priesthood, walked back as a king of kings and lord of lords. He was robed into a white robe to represent his king of kings and to represent who he is because he's no more a sinner, he's no more carrying no sinner, he walking in righteousness. And holiness, and when you are walking holiness and righteousness, you must walk with dignity. You must walk with. You must walk with integrity. Because I tell you something.
it. Uh, you don't see the Queen of England dress out. Uh, the Queen of England cover up uh, because she's the Queen uh, over England. Uh, and we are the Queen uh, in the body of Christ. Uh, we must cover up. Uh, give God a praise. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. I said, we are the queen and we are the princess in the body of Christ. We must cover up ourselves. Talk to me. You want me still preach? Let me see Alihan, you want me still preach? Let me see Alihan, who don't want me to preach? <laughs> I said <laughs> it didn't just start there with Jesus huh? it started there from in the garden of Eden huh? because when Satan take out the glory of Adam and Eve huh? and Adam and Eve find themselves naked huh? they run go make cl clothes <laughs> come on somebody they run and make clothes. But Jesus brought them up back. He killed the lamb and put on a, a sheet over him. Over them. So from in the garden of Eden, he shows a woman and a man must walk naked. Give God a praise in this place. Some of them on the pulpit, I read the Bible, and all when them put to like this, at the breast for CRC. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The breast are hide the words. Come on, somebody. So they mingling God's word with sin. Come on, somebody. They might mingle God's word with loss. Come on, somebody. They might mingle God's word with seductive spirit. Come on, somebody. That's why the church is so full of, of seductive spirit. Because if the leader I walk seductive, the congregation will be seductive. Give God a praise in this place. So Mary has fulfilled her job by showing loyalty, showing love for the one that took her out of bandage. When God took, take you out of bandage, you must be committed. Come on, somebody. When a preacher, when a pastor pray you out of bandage, you must be loyal to that pastor. When a church pray out of bandage, you must be loyal to that church. Hallelujah. As long as the church is living for Christ, you must be loyal. Give God a praise in this place. But some like the mix up story. Give God a praise in this place. But Mary stood without at the sepulchre weeping. And as she and as she wept, she stooped down. And look into the sepulchre. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She looked into the sepulchre and see it. Two angels in white. Sitting. The one at the head. And the other at the foot. Where the body of Jesus had lain. And they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? She said unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. And when she had, had, had thus said, she returned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest? Whom seeketh thou? She supposing 
him to be the gardener. She saith unto him, Sir, if thou have borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said unto her, Mary. She turned herself and said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, Master. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascended unto my father and your father unto my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciple that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things unto her. Mary Magdalene did not recognize Christ until Christ called out her name. There's something about names and there's something about and when she, when she when he called her name she knew who he was. She did not recognize but when Jesus spoke she said Rabina. She recognized that her mask as a sheep know their shepherd voice. Come on somebody. That is why you must run from church to church. Because you will not know who is the shepherd. And some wolf out there. That will pretend to be shepherd. When they are sheep in wolf, wolf clothes. But Mary know Jesus voice. Because when Jesus spoke. There was something special. In Jesus name voice. That she recognized immediately. She did not say who are you. She said. Oh, Robin, oh, my master. See, you must know your shepherd's voice. But some people go around, around from church to church. From not hear the voice of the Lord. They cannot see the work of God because they have to be shepherd and speak in them spirit. Come on somebody and sometimes the right shepherd speak and they don't want to hear the right shepherd. They want to hear the shepherd in a sheep wolf in sheep clothes. I know everybody want to hear a preacher who preach holiness. I know everybody want to hear a preacher who preach the hell is real and everybody wants to know want a preacher who will tell you sin and I know but everybody will walk me a church where their sin can be identified but every church should have the ability to identify sin come on somebody hallelujah Every church should have the ability to identify sin. Every church should preach hell. Every church should preach holiness. Every church should preach righteousness. Come on, somebody in this place. And everybody, want, uh, and everybody want to be into a church. Come on, somebody. Cause if they got a party last night, go shock up. They not go one go to church who have an eye of an eagle who will look and see sin walking with you. They find a church with no eagle eyes not there. Come on, somebody, give God a praise in this church because I tell you something. God don't stay where holiness the preacher is where holiness preacher I dear God stay give God a praise give God a praise give God a praise somebody give God a praise I said God no, no church where holiness the preacher because I am holy so be holy hallelujah Jesus he said, he is holy. So you must be holy. If you are his children, you must be holy. Give God a prayer in this place. So many, 
don't like a preacher who preach holiness they don't want no preacher who preach purity they don't want no preacher who tell them you got to marry <laughs> Come on, somebody. Them like the preacher who will see them a shock up and still agree with them shock upness. But as for me, if you are shock up, you are your cause of Christian. You better shock out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I say, as for me and the pastor, if you are a child of God and you are shock up with somebody and you don't marry to them, I will pray until you shock out in the name of Jesus. Let me see. What, let me see all who still love me. I like to take a survey. Let me see all who still want me to preach. Hallelujah. Because you see, you die with Christ and you raise with Christ. So you must walk in holiness. You must walk in purity. Because you walk with Jesus. You now walk with no devil. Come on, somebody in this place. Oh God Almighty, devil, let me have to head. I said, devil, I said, when you raise with Christ, you all ragged garment. You all filthy garment. It done on the ground. And you walk in holiness. That is why the angels saw him into a white lily white robe that represent purity. Give God a praise. So if you are lead God children, you must walk in walk in holiness. You must call sin sin. I don't care how I love you. I love you enough to tell you you are walking a sin. I love you to tell you either you change or you ship out. Come and talk to me. Come and talk to me. I love you enough to tell you it's either you change or you ship out. But you now sit with me. Give God a praise. Me now dine with you. Oh, can I preach this place? Can I preach for this place? It is ship out or you change. But if you want to rest, you better draw your little self and go in the city. If something will hold you back, find the city. Bow down in the city until God break the yoke. Cry out in the city until God lift the embargo. Give God a praise in this house today. God is saying too much compromising is in his body. Nobody know what preach wholeness again. Then fear them preach holiness. Then pick up their pocketbook and leave. If they preach holiness, then pick up them jacket and pray and leave. But as long as I preach holiness, you take up your jacket and leave. The word planting you. One day the word will manifest. You take up your pocketbook and leave. The word already planting you. One day it will manifest. Because when I let the word out, I have to hunt you to Christ. Give God a praise in this place. But if I don't tell you that you, you're walking in sin, if I don't preach against sin, how would you live out of sin? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. That is why they have stoplight. Come on, somebody. If you don't, if they don't have stoplight, a pure chaos accident. Come on, somebody. Are you hearing me? Because the stoplight prevents you from killing yourself. Well, the word of God prevents you from God hell. Give God a praise in this place. Give God a praise in this place. Give God a praise in this place. Hallelujah. You hear what I say? I say stop like prevent you from kill yourself. 
the word of God prevents you from God hell. So you must hear the word of God. Take what is yours and lament upon it and change your ways and come back to Jesus. Give God a praise in this place. Hallelujah. 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 God asks me, what you weeping for, woman? There's no time to weep. The dead clothes off. A life I carry. The dead clothes live in the grave. You should have happy to raise what you weep for. Say, so stop weep, woman. Because you raise you raise up with me. Come on. So rejoice. Hallelujah. Rejoice in, holy, in me, Lord. So she said to me, Magdalene, you had no reason to cry. Because as for you, you raised with me. Can you love me enough to come seek me out? To anoint my body. Hallelujah. Give God a praise. And you see what Jesus did. Peter, who he loves. John, who he said, John, whom I love. But God did not put lead in their hearts to come and find him. Hallelujah. He said, John whom I love, Peter whom I loved. But God did not allow them to find him. He allowed a woman who he took out of what? Sin. What was the sin? What was the sin Mary and Margaret come out of? Call out, seven wicked spirit was upon her when God, when God cleansed her. So because the whole place know that Mary Magdalene was a harlot and she had seven demons. So she was a, she was, she was a what? She was a publican. She, she was advertised for who she is. She was a lady of the night. So she was a public figure for sin come on somebody <laughs> but Peter and John was a fisherman John was a fisherman they only fish but Mary Lord Magdalene was a notorious sinner she was a sinner that people say she don't want to go to heaven <laughs> come on somebody she was a sinner that would say she don't want to be a pastor. She was a sinner that would say she don't want to even sit at the front of the church. She must sit at the back. So Jesus said, I want to vindicate you, woman. Oh, you sinful woman out there. You don't know that Jesus vindicate you. 2,000 years ago, he vindicated you. He vindicated the prostitute. He vindicated the whore. He vindicated the murderer. I said, he vindicated you 2,000 years ago. So don't be afraid to walk in church and sit down and get clean up. Don't make no big hat. Don't make no well-dressed folks. Say you can't go to church. Go and sit beside the well-dressed folks. Because I know that did well dress, well proper, well put together, good put together Christian. I know it was the cross that Calvary saved them. Some of them mini was shot till they can't bend. And the cross that Jesus saved them. Come on, somebody. So when those well dressed, long dressed folks. See you walking on the street naked. Huh? And then protect them languors cover you. Huh? But they must not shun you. Huh? Give God a praise in the place. Give God. It's one thing I learned in ministry. I don't kill no fish before me catch them. I said one thing I learned in ministry. You don't scale a fish before you catch them. <laughs> you have to catch the 
fish. Hallelujah. And some fish is very wild. They will wiggle out of your hand. You have to take special care. That don't fish don't waggle out of your hand. Give God a prayer this place. You have to catch the fish. And when you find the fish dead in Christ, then you kill the fish dead. Give God a praise in this place. Give God a praise. Oh God Almighty. When you know that they get a word, that they can say anything you tell me, may I take it? Hallelujah. Then you can catch the fish. You can start to gut it and start to scale it. When if you fry it, give God a praise in this place. Mary Mal was a big fish. But God catch her. And then after that, he just scaled her up and used her to be the first preacher woman. Hallelujah. She said, Come and see a man raised from the dead. She was the first preacher woman. So don't let the man tell you, woman, that God give a commission that you can't preach. Because when they were sleeping, you were at the... Can I talk in you? Can I talk? I saw when the men them were sleeping, some woman was in the darkness seeking to go and anoint him. Give God a praise. So don't let no man tell you that if God called you as an apostle, if God called you a prophetess, if he called you as a bishop, if he called you as a pope, no one can tell you that you are not qualified for it. If he call you as a rabbi, let no one tell you you are not qualified. Because most times the woman them are more qualified from than them. Hallelujah. Because most times when them not pray, the woman them are pray. Hallelujah. And I ask God some question. So I come to liberate women. Woman of the world. Woman of Zion. I come to liberate you today. I said if God call you. As one of his spoke man. One of his spoke woman. Don't sit in an old church. And let them have you. As doorkeeper. In the name of Jesus. Let them want to have you as a doorkeeper. And have you as usher. They know you qualify. But they want to have you as, as usher. They know you. Let me say who I may still preach. Woman must be liberated. A lot of apostles sitting up there in the church and they don't want to give them their title. Because they a woman. A lot of bishops in the church, they will give them their title because they is a woman. But I come to tell you who preached the first gospel, who is the Christ first in his glory. It was a woman. Who go and call them? It was a woman. A lot of other men don't want to honor a woman leader because they be the woman. Let me tell you something. Christ himself was Christ himself. Was anointed by a woman. So Christ himself was under a woman anointed. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I said, was a woman anointed, Jesus. And Christ himself subject himself uh, to make a woman touch him uh, from the corner of her head. Uh, so now, uh, listen, uh, listen, 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 uh, listen, this one. Uh, Christ was subjected uh, to the native water, uh, but the tears from her eyes uh, was good enough to touch him. Uh, give God a praise in this place. Uh, the tears from her eyes uh, was good enough to anoint him. Uh, give God a praise in this place. 
I said, I want to gather, I want to lead a woman group. <laughs> and when they see the woman in the ice system, keep quiet. Yeah. Because they will be empowered to make the devil tremble. Give God a prayer in this place. They will be empowered to make the devil tremble. Because every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Give God a praise in this place. Then the same day at evening being the first day of the week when the doors were shut. <laughs> when well, the doors were shut because they were hiding. But Mary never hide. <laughs> when the door was shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, <laughs> came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them peace be unto you and when hallelujah and when he had so said he showed unto them his hands and his side then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord then said Jesus to them again peace be unto you as my father has sent me even so sent I you. So he said, my father has sent me and I have to go. So I'm going to send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them. And said unto them, receive he the Holy Ghost. So receive the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sin, he remit. They are remitted unto them. And whosoever sin, you, he re retain, they are retained unto them. So God has given the apostles power. He gave them authority. Whosoever sin that they remit, it is remit. And whosoever sin that they don't, it is not. That's the power of an apostle. Give God a praise in this place. Give God a praise in this place. Give God a praise in this place. So that's why I cannot understand some people who say that they are an apostle and they still are living a sin. Can I preach? Can I preach? Can I preach? Because they are the one God gave the authority to. He said, whoever you forgive, they are forgiven. And whosoever they're not forgiven is not forgiven. So God breathed his spirit upon them and said, whosoever you forgive, they are forgiven. And whosoever you know forgive, they're not forgiven. So I don't know how preacher man and preacher woman can live a sin life, full life. When God give them that authority, that when they said you sin, go repent, you must repent. Oh God Almighty, when he said you, you must, you, 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 you don't want to leave what I've seen. So you cast out, you cast out. Give God a praise in this place. Hallelujah. My Bible tells me in the book of James, he said when there's someone sick, call for the elder and they will pray a prayer and they will be forgiven and they shall be healed. Come on somebody. So when a preacher pray for you, you can be forgiven of your sin. That is why a preacher must live holy. A preacher must live righteously. Give God a praise in this place. That means that means when you're when you're a preacher, you can't carry the world with you. Because you can't speak to the world, the world will bow. 
if you carry the world with you, if you are part of the world, you're not going to speak to the world and the world bow. In the book of, 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 of Acts, when Paul went to Ephesus, and when the, the son of Stephen was shown the authority, the demon said, Paul, I know. And yes, I know. But who are you? Come on, somebody. I said, if you are part of the world, you can bring the world under subjection. Give God because can a kingdom fight against his kingdom? Come and talk to me. Can a kingdom fight against his kingdom? So if you are worldly, you cannot bring the world to, to bend down on their knee. If you are worldly, you can make the world bow. So God is going to hold the minister that responsible because they're not walking and living out of the world they're still in the world and make the church in the world they are still in the world and make their congregation in the world so God is going to hold those ministers responsible who are still in the world and not out of the world can someone give a praise in this place Living double life. That God no double life, God. Hallelujah. You've got a praise in this place. You've got a praise in this place. You've got a praise in this place. If he was living a double life, he couldn't raise from the dead. He had the power to raise from the dead. If he was living. Life. So I'm inviting all of those people out there who are saying that they're not worthy to be before God. Yes, yeah, some people believe that they're too far gone in sin. Oh, they commit too much sin, they cannot be cleansed. But I come to tell you that Jesus came to set the captive free. He came to pray to break down prison door. To release those that are in prison in sin. Hallelujah. Many of you are saying that, you know, I have done so much bad stuff. Nobody would receive me. Hallelujah. But I just want you to raise your hand wherever you are in your, in your house today. Some of you don't want to go to church because you believe that church is not good. Which I don't blame you because of what you see. The world is in the church. But I'm telling you today. Don't watch the church. Watch your heart. I want to tell you today. Don't watch the church. Watch the word. All you want to do is the word of the Lord. To soothe you. To bring you to him. So I'm inviting all of you today. Who's watching on the air today. You may be before your television or on the internet or on your phone. Just find a Bible-based church. A church that preached the, the doctrine of God. A church that preached holiness. A church that preached righteousness. A church that is radical against sin. A church that is radical against Satan and his army. A church who fight war, fear. Come on, somebody. A church that prays. A leader who live in prayer. A leader who you can find. Come on, somebody. Give God a praise. You find a Bible-based church. And go. Hallelujah. God, I pray in this place. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Zion. Worship and that thou bid me come to 
If anyone wants to give their life to the Lord today, you can stay right where you are and just hold your hand and say, Lord, I come. Draw time. I am. Who is helping me here? Who is helping me? Stand church. Stand church. Come on, raise your hand. Wait and let him know you come. Just as Yeah. 